What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we are talking about news from Alpina and the Start Timer Pilot Heritage lineup. But before I get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. It helps me bring you these videos and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I like to bring you guys news as it happens, reviews and all of that good stuff. So please don't forget to like, subscribe. It helps support the channel and I very much appreciate it. So getting right into it, the Alpina Start Timer Pilot Heritage Automatic. This is a new pilot's watch, obviously from Alpina. And according to Alpina, Alpina has been dedicated to pilots for over 50 years. As an official supplier to various air forces, it has specialized in meeting the requirements of pilots at work by delivering steadfast resistance, unfailing precision, and perfect readability. For fans of air travel comes the new limited edition Start Timer Pilot Heritage Automatic with a new design and a new case in addition to its famous Hunter case back, a rare piece for collectors of great pilot watches. So yes, this gets a Hunter case back, which is essentially a case back that resembles a pocket watch case back. It is a piece of metal that actually folds open and underneath you do get a sapphire crystal. So collectors are bound to appreciate the vintage touches that reveal just how much care Alpina took in drawing on vintage watches. Firstly, the Alpina logo features the original font used by Geneva-based brand founded in 1883. Then there is the legendary Alpina triangle, symbolic of the Swiss peaks. The watch is also distinguished by the red counterbalance on the large seconds hand, hovering over the date display at three o'clock. As for the case, the Hallmark case back makes its big return. Decorated with a delicate perlage pattern, it reveals the sapphire crystal through which the Swiss made AL 525 movement can be seen. So this AL525 is actually a Salita caliber. It's a Salita SW200-1, uh, which is a very reliable movement. And essentially they just put on a bespoke rotor on it, which is matte black colored. Uh, it looks really good and it looks like all of their other watches. Uh, this gets a matte black dial applied indices. The hands and indices have cream colored Superluminova, so it looks very vintage, has a very vintage feel. The second hand gets a red triangle, as I mentioned, and that's typical of all start timers from Alpina. The case is 100% polished, so you get 316L stainless steel. Dome sapphire crystal, water resistance on this will be 30 meters. Diameter is 44 millimeters, so it is on the larger side. It's not incredibly thick, 11.55, but I wish they made this a 42 millimeter watch. 44 millimeters is good for a pilot's watch, but I think usability, uh, everyday wear, 42 millimeters would fit more wrists. Uh, and this is getting a dark brown calf leather strap with off-white stitching, so again, keeping in with that aviation feel. But I think the biggest draw on this watch is obviously the Hunter case. That beautiful case back, it has perlage on it. You open that up and you can see the automatic movement through the back. Does not add a lot of thickness, obviously, to this watch because it is only 11 0.55 millimeters thick. That is not very thick with a dome sapphire crystal. So a very, very thin watch. I just wish that it was about 42 millimeters. And the price on this is a little bit high, but not incredibly high. I think they've kept this in a good price range. They have it at 13.93, so just under $1,400. I think on the secondary market, obviously these will sell for a pretty good discount. Uh, however, a very good looking watch. I really like the actual font that they used on the dial. Everything about the dial looks good. The cream colored loom gives it that vintage feel. And of course that Hunter case back, which is just sort of a novelty, not something that you see on a lot of watches these days. I absolutely love it. And I think Alpina really hit everything perfectly on this watch. I think it looks really good. But tell me what you guys think about this watch in the comments below. I wanna hear from you. Uh, again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It helps me bring you these videos. I really like to make all of these news videos, watch reviews, unboxings, and all of that. So uh, if you could hit that bell icon, definitely hit that like button because it is helpful for me and the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I post there often about watches that are coming up for review or I post about news about watches that are actually coming out. Uh, also, I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything extra. 
However, I very much appreciate it and it helps support the channel. So uh, again, thank you very much for doing that uh, if you can. Uh, anyway, thank you for logging on and I'll catch you guys in the next video.